What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode, yes, of Seek on a Speed 2, 5, and a 2. And I want to thank each and every single one of you, yes, each every single one of you on this channel for pushing that play button. Man, I am super excited to tell you right now that I'm about to drive halfway across country. Okay, as you guys know, I love driving. One of my favorite things to do. I consider it being the best therapy ever to be behind a wheel of either one of these bad boys and have an amazing time listening to great music. So I talked to my friend's wife, which is Mike, bring us speed. And I took some time off work just a little bit and I'm decided to drive across country, a halfway across country to surprise them to let them know, hey, I'm here in town. Let's get together, have a good time, make some YouTube videos. So I'm gonna to try to join him for his live video. I'm not 100% sure if we're gonna make it in time. This is day one, hoping to see Darren and see everybody else out there in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. Hopefully there's a car event going on. If not, I'm sorry, I may not be able to make it to one of those if there's not one that's going on, but I'm headed to Dallas, Texas right now. This is day one. I already told Mike's wife that I'm coming that direction. So I'm looking forward to meeting out there. I actually driving the OG right here. My trunk is already packed. As you guys can see, I have ACS composite stuff right here as well. So I'm looking forward to actually creating a video with my friends Mike and Darren by putting this front ACS splitter actually on the front of my Corvette because they always installing stuff in their backyard. So I look forward to installing something in their backyard as well because my front splitter is all damaged. My first one came from ACS composite as well as a sponsor of mine on the channel they sent me another one because that one is all damaged and i'm hoping to have this car record and call out this year so i'd like to add the new front split on there as well my trunk is already packed with food clothes gym stuff what the case may be and also you know my goal is to spend as less money on this trip as possible because i'm trying to save and prepare for a lot of other things coming in the future uh, money's been a little tight around here so with that being said my goal is to try to save so i brought some of my own food Brought some of my clothes, obviously, some water, whatever the case may be. Got some drinks down there below. Got this front ACS composite uh, split in the front. And I'm looking forward to driving this bad boy down to Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. I wish, I wish I could have drove this car. We'll put the miles on it from my house to his house. So this is the OG. I plan on trying to keep this car for the rest of my life. So putting the miles on this bad boy doesn't bother me at all. Plus, I'm looking forward to driving it because I've been driving this one a lot more than I've been driving this one. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy started. And let's go ahead and get on the road. Day one, bring a speed. I'm coming to a house near you, your house. Here I come. Let's go. Howdy, folks. You want to see going to speed 252 show? Scroll over to the right, click that subscribe button, and join this awesome community. team so we're on the road actually we've been on the road for a while now um i have wanted to make this quick little video at the bucky's gas station but for some reason i didn't come across one there was a sign that said i was like 188 miles out and i never saw the bucky so maybe i just kind of got detoured a diff different direction especially when i got to atlanta because there was so much traffic in atlanta for all you guys that live in atlanta omg how can you deal with it every morning virtually it was awful I mean, the traffic in Atlanta was so freaking bad that I felt like I could have got out and walked fast in the cars. I mean, it was just ridiculous. Um, it, you know, it was frustrating, but you know, I don't really get easily frustrated. So for me, it was like, ah, this is what I deal with. But it's just one of those things where I thought I left at a reasonable time to avoid Atlanta traffic, but no, no sorry, buddy. That traffic was just waiting for me to show up. And when I got there, they were all there. I feel like we could have got out of the car Everybody had a, an important meeting. Uh oh, my radar detector is going off. You no, know it's funny. I passed by two cops earlier and I was speeding just a little bit, but it didn't pull me over. And then there was this other white van that passed me that he was speeding pretty much around the same time I was speeding. This cop comes off the X and I had just put my radar detector on and it buzzed me and let me know the cop was there. And literally, that cop pulled over that van not too far down the road. I was like, crazy so my radar detector actually saved me a speeding ticket today i'm gonna say that right off the bat this was a gift i think it was about 135 bucks it was a gift probably about three four years ago and it's beeping right now so it's, it's an amazing tool i think that if you're interested in saving some money 
on some speeding tickets. I'm not saying it's gonna get you out of every you know, speeding ticket or cop situation, but at least give you some warnings to let you know like, hey, slow down so you don't get some sort of speeding ticket. So for this one, I think it was 135 bucks. I can put, already put a link somewhere down below how much this one costs. But man, it saved me out of a speeding ticket. Cause like I said before, I'm headed to go see my friend Mike. You guys know, break of speed. Um, I'm surprised him actually. Like today is his live video day. I don't know if this video gonna come out today. It may come out tomorrow, but he used to do live videos on Wednesdays at his friend Darren's house. And I love Darren too. And he also Mark's there as well. So I've been coordinating with Mike's wife, letting her know like, hey, I'm thinking about surprising Mike if I can get my work schedule all figured out and stuff like that. And you know, with work, man, it's kind of tough, you know, when you run your own small business, it's just really hard sometimes to leave it. But I figured it out somewhat, and now I'm on the road. I've been on the road since like 2 a.m. this morning, and uh, I've been driving. And right now it is 8.28 my time. So I've been driving for a long period of time. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I enjoy driving in the middle of the night because there really isn't much traffic there, and you can avoid a lot of um, accidents and things like that. But the problem that you run into with driving at nighttime is you run into a lot of road constructions because that's when they repair the roads because they're assuming that a lot of people are not on the roads. And two, it feels like sleepy time. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. There was a few times I was like, I need to play like a song or something that's going to get me hyped up and get me through this drive because I don't like drinking energy drinks. That's just not my thing. Um, but if I had to do it, I would do it. And my goal was to try to actually get to Mike's house it said it's an 18 hour drive from my house, so I'm driving it straight through. The last time I drove to Mike's house, I drove my Trailblazer and pulled this car behind it, and we drove to California. I didn't drive that straight through because the Trailblazer, like I say, is strong enough to pull a car on flat land, but it's not strong enough to pull a car up a hill, and it just took me a lot longer to get to his house at that point. So this time I said, forget it, I'm just gonna drive the Corvette straight there. I'm driving the OG, the C7, the Chrome Wrap Corvette, and, uh, I'm looking forward to surprising my buddy. Hopefully I can make it there just in time for his live or right in the middle of his live video. I may interrupt it, but I'm looking forward to doing it. You guys that watch this video will probably end up seeing me interrupt his live video. So this is gonna be fun. You guys stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining this episode. Hit that thumbs up button for sure. Also give this video a comment down below and hit that subscribe button as well. You know, I love when you guys become part of this community. I'm so happy to be back a part of this journey with you guys. And definitely, definitely hit that bell notification right beside it as well. And I'm gonna fill you guys in on this. What's up, what's up, what's up? I am surprising my friend with my Corvette in Dallas, Texas. As you guys know, my good friend Mike, Brick of Speed, he doesn't know I'm driving to Dallas, Texas right now to surprise him, his wife knows. So, with that being said, let's go! Y'all got room for one more or what? Y'all got room oh for one more gosh. here? Man, where's my chair at? What in the world, dude? Where's my chair at? Yeah, hey, do you have his mic on? I do. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Cigar What's up, man? Oh, I forgot oh, about that. <laughs> for twenty eight ninety five, you can get a cross brace, but a door sill is $2,000. I know. It blows my mind. <laughs> What's going on? Ah! Oh my <laughs> gosh! Man, my what dad? in That's the world, funny. dude? Where's my chair? Clarence, yeah, what are you doing speed. here? Hey, do you have his mic on? I do. I do. <laughs> Check it out, guys. See you on the Oh, I oh my that. gosh, dude! Hey, what's Good up? You, man. you too, man. I was like, what? In what is the going on world? here? Uh. Uh, guys, this yeah, is a speechless. huge surprise. Yeah. We're building an E-Ray right now. You can yes, help us now. Build one then. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Amber. At your service. So you guys have been like scheming to come here, and I didn't even know anything about it. Uh, well, I told I was like, I'm thinking about riding out there. So I did you drive? Of, yeah. What'd you drive? Uh, my C7. Nice. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's 18 hours oh. straight through. Oh, Shot three times with gas. Dang. Yeah. 
It was, yeah. Dang, he brought his C7 Grand Sport here. That's yeah. awesome. Dude, welcome. Yeah, yeah, man, thanks for having me back. <laughs> Freaking yeah. awesome. What an awesome surprise. <laughs> hey, Mike. Mike, get out of the car, man. I drove 18 hours, man, to come see you, and you're sitting in the car? Sorry, dude, it's hot outside. Man, I, yeah, it's I get it. It's hot in Texas, right? Yeah, man, shoot. You're not used to man, that. I ain't lying. I had ice cream yesterday. My ice cream started sweating. <laughs> <laughs> It melted before you finished. I know, know, right? Jeez Louise, man. My shadow haven't even came outside today. <laughs> it's actually right there, guys. Oh. Right there. It is right there. <laughs> Yesterday, he didn't come outside at all. I was looking around for my own shadow. He was like, uh, not today. <laughs> not today. All right, guys. So, as you know, this is my good friend, Mike here. Brink of Speed. What's up, guys? Definitely hit that subscribe button. As you guys know, I'm Clarence from Seek on Speed 252 as you clicked on this episode. So you guys know I drove 18 hours to come surprise my friend Mike. How did it feel that I walked into the room on your live video as everybody saw right before this? Man, that was amazing. I haven't had a surprise like that probably ever. So it was, like I said on the live, it was a little bit shocking because I saw my wife's face peek in the door and I'm thinking, oh no, what the heck happened that she's driven all the way over to Darren's. Right. And then she's like, I got a surprise. And then you walked in and everybody, if you haven't seen my live, it's at like the maybe 40 something minute mark. You should check it out because my face says everything. Like that was an incredible surprise. You and I have been talking on the phone. Well, we talk on the phone all the time. Yeah, yeah. But we have been talking and I've been like, dude, you gotta come to Texas. Yeah. You don't really have much going on <laughs> right now. So come to Texas, let's do some videos, let's hang out. And I thought it wasn't gonna happen and then you did. And then your favorite thing is, man, get your butt out here. That's one of your favorite lines. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I yeah. thought about it a million times, and I was like, you know what? I don't have much going on. Took a couple of days off of work. Let's go out here and surprise my buddy Mike. And I enjoyed it. And what I enjoyed was just how, like, staring your finger was like, oh, like, <laughs> oh, like, w w what is happening right now? It blew my mind. <laughs> it absolutely blew my mind. So yeah. Clarence is an amazing friend. We met on Instagram back in 2017. Yeah. Started talking. And the rest is history. We've become very close. As you guys have seen, we've been in a lot of videos together. We've traveled a lot together. Yeah. Whether it's to California, Kentucky, or Pennsylvania. Yeah. We've done it all. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, he's been here. I've been to his house. True. Actually, I need to be. Uh, I need to come to your house and stay a little <laughs> longer. But don't bring this. Been there. Don't bring the heat with you. Oh. <laughs> And actually, today's a mild day. I know, and I'm still it's hot. It's actually like 90-something instead of like 100-something. Oh, it was like my car said it was like 102 yesterday. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, it was brutal. Yeah, it's hot. Brutal. But yeah, thank you so much, Clarence. You guys are amazing fans for watching his content, but give him a huge props and thumbs up for coming out and surprising me. Yeah, man. Thank you, everyone, for just being a part of both of our channels. We appreciate you guys so much. This guy's posting consistently. I'm officially back now, and I'm happy to be back, and I'm happy you guys are back. And I look forward to seeing a lot of you guys at Corvin and Carlisle this year. Heck yeah, yeah, yeah we're, we're going to be there. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll hopefully both have the cars there. If not, you still see our lovely faces. And we look <laughs> forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. I'm out. He's out. He's going to see you out on the road. That's right. <laughs>